anybody can call himself a bishop today. Because the next day I will call himself an apostle. Oh, oh, some wrong. Any pastor. Yeah. Who trained him? Why not the training of the guy? Who apprentice was he? Why no she and one and who is his spiritual father? Why never Papa where you are? Where is he coming from? Never know if he need him. Under whose supervision and control is he operating? Does he have somebody who can call him to order? So if I say I'm saying man of God, I'm not saying that you have put your head under anything that is called a man of God. No. Every fetish bitch can metamorphose to become a man of God. What does he have to do? He just have to stop wearing fetish dress. Stop wearing suit and tie. Start wearing suit and tie. You understand? And then put a building somewhere. Some abata, put some abata somewhere. And say, Jesus is alive. Deliverance ministry. So you don't know I'm talking about men of God. I'm not just talking about God. How do you relate with your man of God? And the first one he says that receive him like you receive the Lord. Matthew chapter 10, verse 21 to 42. He said, The one who received a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive the prophet's reward. Hallelujah. Number two. A person receive him, esteem him highly. Esteem him highly. First Thessalonians chapter five. Thessalonians four, man, it is thirty. He said, "We urge you, brothers, to recognize those who labor among you." And are over you in the Lord. And admonish you in the Lord. To esteem them very highly. In love. For the sake of their work. And be at peace among yourselves. That is the second point. The third point. Bishop Jesus, he said, receive him with gladness. Philippians chapter 2, verse 25. Verse 29. Verse 30. He said, receive him therefore in the Lord with all gladness. And hold such people in esteem. Because for the work of Christ, he was close to death. Not regarding his life. To supply what was lacking in your service toward me. So these are the three points I'll give to you from the book. Receive him as you receive the Lord. Esteem him highly. Receive him with gladness. Amen. Amen. Let me add the last one. Say, honor him by genuinely boasting about him. The book is a very loaded book. You can get home. It's very important. It will help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I want to make a demonstration. I want to do a demonstration. Yes, I want to do a demonstration. Assistant Chief Osaka and help us. Now, when the man of God is heavy duty loaded to come and download this. The church members can be divided into two groups. The first group, they are nature is like this. The second group, they are nature is like this. Open the water for me. So, the man of God may be loaded. You may be loaded with the grace of God. 
in the anointing of God, in the miracles of God, in the blessings of God, they have brought it all right. Bring the stone. But one group of the people, their, their spiritual nature is like this. Raise it. Raise it. So when what God has given to him, he releases it on them. He will just go out. So the person will be in the church. His life will not be moving forward. Because the anointing is not working for him. No, he is not receptive. Because he suspects the man of God. He thinks evil for him. He thinks negative for him. He is so close up. And he, and he has become hardened. He has become hardened. So nothing is happening. But there is another group. Yes, the second group of people. They are like so when he begins to pour that in, this one will, will, soak, will soak it. We will just leave it. This one will, will soak it. Some will pour, but this one will soak. This one will soak. These are the group that are receptive. So you see that you'll be growing spiritually. You'll be developing spiritually. Their love for God will be increased. And then physically to their life will be blessed. Because they are receptive. They are teachable. When he tells them to come for me, they say they will pay and they come. They have submitted themselves. Tell them we are fasting and praying. They will do something. Tell them you don't come to church once a month. They will pay. These are receptive people. Hold it. Hold this one. So, when you press it, you see, sir, there is something inside. But the stone in the one, nothing matters. You can clean it now. So, your man of God is designed to bless. On Sunday after service, a lady came to see me. She was afraid that she was going to die. And she was having neck problem. Oh, and I told her, I'll pray for you. Let me finish counseling the people. I'll pray for you. Yes. And I made sure there were people there. I made sure the chief usher was there oh. to see. So. And I prayed for her there on the spot. Right, and I commanded the neck problem to leave. Right. And I told her, test it right now. Test it right now. Test it right now. And she tested it and the neck problem has disappeared. Right. But she was in the church service. No, no, sorry, no. She didn't receive anything. She was in the church service. She didn't receive anything. Why should you be in the service and not receive anything? The man of God is sent to place. You have to be receptive. Amen. Amen. Finally, finally. In Acts chapter 8. Verse 5. The Bible says that Philip went somewhere to preach the word. Philip And when he preached the word, people started receiving miracles, healings, and miracles. Yes. Verse 5. He went there to preach the word. Verse 6. Quickly. And they started receiving healings and miracles. Oh, yes. And the people with one accord pay attention to what Philip was teaching. And depending on what kind of people with in a Philip can do. They heard miracles and they also saw miracles, which was done by what? Christ. Verse seven. 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 They were crying with a loud voice. Many that were lame were healed. Many that were paralyzed were healed. I mean, it was a total revival. Miracles were healed. Is it not enough? 
It's not enough. When you need yeah. a program, a miracle is not enough. Do you need anything again? No. Yeah, the power of God was there. Yeah, but the Bible about. said that when the apostles in Jerusalem who walked with Jesus heard that these people have received the word of God and miracles were happening. He said it's not enough. He said it's not enough. And jump to verse 13. So they sent Apostle Peter and Apostle John to the people. Go to, go to verse 14. Let me see. Verse 14. So they sent Apostle Peter and other apostles to them and they said, When you go, pray for them. People that have experienced miracles, signs and wonders. He said, when you go, pray for them. So that they will receive the Holy Ghost. These computer people, they are too slow for me. I don't think they can help me. Go to verse 15. Okay. So when you read verse 17, the Bible says that when the apostles came, he said, we will give you something that will make you produce some other miracles. Not that you will be receiving the miracles. But you yourself. The thing that makes us produce the miracles. We are coming to give it to you. So they lay their hands on them. And they receive the Holy Ghost. Am I communicating to somebody at all? You must move from where you are receiving miracles that you yourself you have become the miracles. You yourself you are demonstrating now and that is why I've been laying hands on you. I am imparting something over the I'm imparting something into your life. Are you a foam or you are a stone? Are you a foam or you are a stone? Is the grace entering and working in your life or it is being wasted? Precious one, I believe that message has blessed you mightily. If you want your sins to be forgiven, I want you to pray this prayer with me. I want you to give your heart to the Lord. That is what will make the work of God or the word of God to come to pass in your life. So wherever you are, pray this prayer with me right now. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. For I believe that you died for me and you rose for me. Make my life a testimony to all who know me. Thank you, Lord, for answering my prayer. Amen and amen. I still want to pray for you. If you are sick in any part of your body, God is going to heal you right now. Jesus has paid for your sicknesses already. You don't have to carry the sickness. So wherever you are sick at, lay your hands there right now. As I pray for you, God is going to touch you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take authority over every spirit of sickness and disease, every spirit of weakness, infirmity, every spirit of oppression that is harassing your health. I hold them bound in Jesus' name and I command them to come out of your body now in Jesus' mighty name. I declare healing for you right now, wherever you are sick at. I speak healing into your body from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. Be made totally well in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. You can fellowship with us at the Parish Chapel International, Grace Cathedral, Tema Community One, Meridian, near the Tigo office. This and every Sunday from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. On Friday, 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Come and your life will never be the same. See you there.